<laughs> so here we are in the Renfrew Ravine Labyrinth. It's actually on the edge of the lab of the ravine, so you don't have to go down like I originally did. It's on the surface at grade to use a builder zoning term. So it's something like indeed I would make on the beaches in Toronto. It's tight, maybe a foot or so wide. It's a short dry design pattern, 11 lanes. With a handmade mosaics with the rose petals. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is one of the very, very few existing labyrinths that are here in Vancouver. It needs some maintenance, which I understand. One needs to do when you make labyrinths like this. It feels very tight. And when labyrinth lanes are tight it actually focuses your thoughts a little more on what you're thinking about you concentrate when the lanes are wide you're more on autopilot and you get to, to your destination quicker so you have the bigger picture tighter lanes lend something more to concentration more details this also comes about if you're working in a room with a low ceiling that also helps with the uh, to-do list the uh, details when you need big picture thinking, big labyrinths, wide lanes, lots of space, I've found that's similar to coming up with ideas when you're on the ground floor of a large atrium with many, many floors and an open skylight with natural light. Not sure exactly what I was expecting when I saw this online. This really needs some care, some TLC, tender labyrinth care. Some part of me would want to redo the whole thing, remove all the stones. and replace them again. Sometimes you need to do that. Rebuild the labyrinth from the ground up. Literally. Because I know labyrinths. I know this pattern as any labyrinth designer. There's not that many in the world. But the ones 
those of us would know these patterns I know where to turn and other people who may be walking it for the first or second time may not know exactly where to turn because some of the stones are moved If the lanes were wider, in the time that I've been recording this, up to about now, more or less, I would have already reached the center. So when the lanes are tighter, it also makes you go slower. Here we are, in the center. And as I usually do, the third from the right, the alcove, is where I usually find myself. When I arrive in the center of either a right or left-handed Chartres Design Labyrinth. This is Hemi Syed in Vancouver, Vancouver at the Renfrew Ravine Labyrinth. Toronto City of Labyrinths project, which is increasingly inaccurate the longer that I'm in Vancouver. Yeah, there's a bench. So we'll just say this is Himi Syed with City of Labyrinths Project in Vancouver. Labyrinths.ca